I've had a great Christmas, and I hope you've had a wonderful one too. You know, good food, uh, good friends, good family, a nice, warm, cozy house. Uh, love Christmas. But you might not realize it, given what the government tells us about unemployment figures, but actually, we're really lucky to have enjoyed Christmas this year, because as many as four in 10 people will have struggled to get by this Christmas as the British people continue with their struggle with debt and poverty. Millions of people have struggled simply to enjoy a traditional Christmas, unable to pay the bills, let alone pay for presents and a turkey, uh, because wages are stagnating, the cost of living is rising, and people are struggling to find regular and stable work. And that's Theresa May's fault in part, but I might add that Jeremy Corbyn doesn't have an answer either. The government claims that the UK is enjoying lower unemployment figures than any other time in recent history, but it's simply a lie. It's a deception. The British people are struggling to make ends meet, and many of those, by the way, living in poverty aren't living in tents on the street. They're raising children in their family homes, watering down baby milk, as a UN report found. Uh, this is why the government talks about unemployment instead of underemployment. It's the best kept secret. Um, a study of UK adults revealed that 43% of British people are short of the money they need simply to pay the bills seven months out of every year. And the study also found that a quarter of Brits said that money was a constant uphill battle for them every single month, with the average adult being forced to use overdrafts, credit cards, and even payday loans just to pay their bills. Six in 10 said they felt like they were never gonna make ends meet on their current salary, living with no hope whatsoever. But don't worry, Theresa May says unemployment's lower than ever. Does this sound like record unemployment to you? Does this sound like prosperity? As Jim Edwards put it in a piece for the Business Insider, unemployment in the UK has now become so low that it's uh, risking exposing the lies that the government have used to create those numbers. Now, the government tells us that unemployment is at the same low levels as it was in the 1970s, but there are problems with their claims. As Edwards explains, the problem with this record is that statistical definition of unemployment relies on a fiction that economists tell themselves about the nature of work. As the rate gets lower and lower, it tests that lie, because as anyone who has studied basic economics knows, the official definition of unemployment disguises the true rate. In reality, about 21.5% of all working age people, defined as ages 16 to 64, are without jobs, or 8.83 million people according to the Office for National Statistics. That's more than four times the official number. Do you hear that? More than four times the official number given to us by the government are actually out of work. And this all ties in to the issue of underemployment. Now, the full piece explains the precise economic argument for this in much more detail and way better than I can, so I urge you to read it. But another consideration here is that people are just stuck in this gig economy. Now, there's room for a gig economy. There is room for things like Uber, etc. Uh, that kind of industry. People seem to like it. We've got issues with Uber in London, but Uber, Airbnb, these kind of companies is a new model that's uh, sort of appearing these days. And whether you like those companies or not, that's the model that's going to well, it's, it's going to boom. It's going to continue to boom. And for some people, it's convenient. But the problem is, for many people, it's simply not convenient. And they wouldn't be forced into taking jobs with in this gig economy if stable work was available in the first place. People are being forced to take this work, uh, work because they have no other option. And that means that they're without reg regular hours, which means British people are living in poverty. It's a serious problem that Theresa May simply doesn't want to accept. So the argument here isn't to scrap this gig economy. It's helpful for those who need it. But it's time for the government to face up to the fact that unemployment is nowhere near as low as they claim it is. It's time to face up to the fact that importing uh, huge numbers of people every single year is contributing to unemployment. The British people are living in poverty. And instead of lying about unemployment figures, the government should be doing something to address unemployment. I hope next year, everybody has a happy Christmas. We're not funded by the government, we don't have big sponsors, and we certainly don't have massive donors. If you'd like to help support our work, please go to rebeldonations.com slash the buck.